I'm so excited. I can't wait for football season. Today is opening day. Eagles and Falcons. But more important, it is fantasy football time. And by the way, I, the Montana Outlaws, is the fantasy champion. And I'm so excited to defend my championship. I cannot wait. This season should be fun and exciting and full of entertaining games. <laughs> Thank you all and have a wonderful season. At Fantasy Football 2018, live from Twin Peaks, uh, we have now drafted. So, season has started as of oh, yeah. now. Fight the football! Let's play. Me and Matt usually make the playoffs. What do you, uh, how are you feeling this year? I'm pretty confident. I got a solid starting lineup. As long as uh, Bell comes back, I've got no worries. All right, so let's let's go over Matt's Matt's starting lineup, shall we? Look at these quarterbacks. Now, Matt, you got Goff, Manning, Stafford, Trubisky, Tannehill. Allen and Lamar Jackson. How do you think this plays out? I like it. I got some good options. A couple first round uh, picks from this year that could show some promise, and I uh, have them on my team. Alright, so that's, that's it from tonight. Uh, we will go in more depth, and I will give you guys kind of a rundown of the teams, and then we'll tell you guys week by week how we do. And then you can let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win the season as of now. But let's get down to those players and I'll tell you what each team has. Okay, so we'll start with my team. Uh, as you see, quarterbacks, Russell Wilson, Deshaun, and Baker. I know, Baker Mayfield. But, you know, when you have those, you can develop. Got Todd Gurley, Alvin Kamara, Chris Carson Peterson. Um... Going wide receivers, we have Julio Jones, A.J. Green, Tyreek Hill. Yes, I'm loving my wide receivers. Uh, tight ends where, you know, I'm looking at them like maybe Jimmy Graham will be too good, but that Rams defense should do killer. Uh, we jump to my dad, two-time champion. Look at those quarterbacks, Brady, Rodgers, killer. Running back, he's going super young, but I think Royce Freeman, I think Penny, uh, Michael Eckler – should actually be really good. And, of course, we got Odell on your team. You got Robert Woods, Alshon Jeffrey, and Mari Cooper. You're going to do good. You got the Gronk, so he's got his one-two punch with Brady to Gronkowski and the Broncos defense. Uh, my uncle got Jimmy G, Cam Newton, and Patrick. Should be a good young quarterback crew. Running back's really where he excels, though. You got Devontae, Melvin, Carlos, and Jay Ajayi, who killed it in Monday night, or Thursday night football. Um, you got Marquise, Michael Crabtree, and some younger wide receivers, not maybe big names, but I think they'll be really good. Uh, tight end, you see Vernon Davis, who's been a staple of this team since he started, and that Eagles defense. Um, then we go to my mom, you got Drew Brees, Tyrod Taylor, and a really smart pickup in Sam Darnold. Uh, building for the future. And building for the future, we got Dalvin Cook. Um, I think he's going to do well. Hopefully he bounces back. Wide receiver, you got actually a who's who of, I think, good receivers. Maybe not elite, but I think we'll give you the points. And Evan Ingram, I think, is going to turn into an elite tight end. Um, Steelers, Giants, I think Giants are going to be underrated. Um, Cousin Scotty, you got the Desert Dogs. You got Andrew Luck. Case Keenum, breakout season, will he return? Uh, then we got Christian McCaffrey and Shaquan Barkley. This is a one-two punch for the future. I think he's really going to excel in the future. And of course, when you got DeAndre Hopkins, Michael Thomas, and look at that, Brandon Cooks, along with Cooper Cup, great. Um, tight end, you got Delaney Walker, who's really an unheralded elite tight end. Uh, defending champions, congratulations, Brendan. I think you guys will do good. Matt Ryan, Marcus Mariota, and, of course, Ezekiel Elliott. We'll see how the Sean McCoy situation turns out, but Derrick Henry and Tevin Coleman should do well. And, of course, you got Doug Baldwin from Seattle. He is an elite wide receiver, and he's going to have people in credit for it. Um, tight ends, you got O.J. Howard and Will Disley, which actually Brandon went to school with him, so that's cool. Uh, Ty, 
from Rise and Survive. Got Derek Carr, Alex Smith, good one-two punch for quarterback. Uh, Ty Montgomery, LeGarrette Blount. Uh, Bilal Powell from Louisville, so come on. I think this team's going to be one of those dark horse teams. You got T.Y. Helton, uh, Adam Thielen, Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Garçon. You got Jordan Reed, and uh, Packers and Saints defense. I think that Saints defense is going to be really good this year. All right, on to Bobby and the Denver Broncos. You got four quarterbacks. Dak Prescott is going to be his quarterback in the future. But you got Chad Kelly in there, too, so we'll see. Alex Collins, hopefully he'll follow up his really good season last year. Um, and then you got Emmanuel Sanders, uh, Kenny Galladay, Tyler Boyd. Um, so I think that those are good. Um, little questions in tight end with Jake Butt being the only one. All right, Thundercats to Matt, as we already talked about earlier in the video. You see his quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson from Louisville, any Louisville player I'm really high on. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, that's really going to be the make or break of his team. And then Mike Evans, Stephon Diggs, and Antonio Brown. Like, Matt is loaded. This is the team I'm always looking forward to playing. Uh, Travis Kelsey, uh, Kyle Rudolph, Vikings defense, Matt is set. He's He looks to make a deep playoff run. Andrew, uh, he looks to have a much better season this year. Philip Rivers leading the charge. Philip Rivers is a good quarterback. You got David Johnson, Leonard Fournette, Joe Mixon as your halfbacks. I think he's going to get some good points there. And once Julian comes back, you have Julian Edelman, Larry Fitzgerald, Devontae Parker. Great. Uh, tight end, he's loaded. He's got Greg Olson, Charles Clay, Tyler Eifert, uh, Ben Watson, Trey Burton, and Chiefs and Ravens defense. And Blake, of first year. Uh, Dark Horse, he kept Carson Wentz, obviously. Um, but Joe Flacco, we'll see how he does. Jonathan Stewart, Duke Johnson are his one-two combo. So we'll see. A little weekend running back, but he might make a trade. Um, as you see, wide receivers, I think they had a decent group. Marshawn, or Marshall, uh, Randall Cobb. And then you got some good kickers, obviously. Graham Gano, Jay Kelly, and Matt Prater. And the Texans defense. And then on to Grayson, the last one of the day. Uh, Kirk Cousins, Sam Bradford. Looks like a good combo. But then Kareem Hunt, Jordan Howard, Kenyon Drake. Like This is a Good wide or good halfback crew right there. Uh, Jarvis Landry is gonna, I think, still do really well in Cleveland. I think Tyrod Taylor will do excellent for him. And then you got Cameron Bray, um, Harrison Butker, and Redskins, Bills, and Panthers defense. So I think is Grayson, how do you feel about your your team this year? I feel fantastic. Do you think you will beat four of the five teams predicted? No. Are we talking about the Browns or are we talking about fantasy? Your fantasy team. Oh, yeah, no, there's no way. All right, so this week's uh, matchups, Rams versus Outlaws, last year's championship, and Ryan versus Julio. Uh, we've got Denver Broncos versus Blazing Red, where Big Ben takes on Drew Brees. Dalvin Cook takes on Alex Collins. We'll see how that goes. AZ Burrs versus Thundercats, which could have playoff implications because these are playoff teams. Um, Rise and Survive, 365 versus the Dark Horse. Uh, game of the week because it's the closest projected one. We go down to Birmingham Bats versus California Sun Hitters. A great combination of Brady versus Newton, but is Odell Beckham too much? And Desert Dogs versus Drunken Shenanigans. Captain Kirk versus Andrew Luck. Let's see how that one turns out. But tell us in the comments below who you think will win this week and this season. But until next time, spot your reception.